Hey everyone! So today I wanted to really get into a painting. It's been a long time since I've just let it flow, listen to some great music, and uh, just see what the canvas does. Because sometimes uh, the canvas will tell you what to do. Um, so I've mixed up a ton of paint and I have a bunch of tools. First of which, I'll talk about my tools first, um, I got a new cool tool today. So I've got an airbrush. I have never worked with an airbrush before, ever. And I'm just using this so I can control um, the air pressure and uh, have more direct control over where I'm pointing my paints over the hair dryer. Um, so, but I still do have my hair dryer in case I want to use that. I also have a brush out and my, my huge thing of brushes is not too far away so I can access that for anything that I want. Um, and I've got a palette knife right here. Um, I also got some gloves in case I want to get my hands in it. We'll see. Um, as far as paints go, I have a bunch of paints down there. Um, and they're all of these paints, but some of them have different tones because I added a little bit of white or I added a little bit of black. So, um, also I've got alcohol, rubbing alcohol, that I'm gonna, I might use, I'm not sure. Um, so let me go through my paints real quick. I've got uh, the Magenta, Liquitex Basics Magenta, Lard L Artist Loft Light Green. I've got Cerulean Blue Artist Loft, Master's Touch Violet. I've got uh, Master's Touch Ultramarine, Artist Loft Light Blue. I've got Artist Loft Mars Black, Artist Loft uh, Phalo Blue. I've got Art Alternatives Titanium White. And I've got a little bit of extra house paint that I sometimes use. I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. So I've got that all mixed up and ready to go. I'm just going to bring you guys, point you up and point you down. We'll get you up and point you down so you can see what's going on. But I'm just going to let this flow. I really don't have much of intention on this besides the color choices and just getting in and seeing what comes out of it. Because sometimes the canvas will tell you where to go. Um, so... Let's let it flow and see what happens.
All right, so this was a wild and crazy painting. Um, I don't, I didn't have any intention on how this would turn out or what I was looking for, but I definitely feel that it has two different perspectives. So this is the one I actually painted, and um, I'd love for you guys to comment below and tell me what what it brings up for you. So I like this unintentional. Um, suggestion suggestion of what this is um, and I'd love to hear what your guys's ideas are of what you see when you look at this painting and I'm actually going to flip it over real quick and show you the other perspective that I noticed and I'll tell you what I think it looks like all right so I had actually painted this the other way from my perspective but I think that this way is super cool to me, it looks like you're under the water, and some of these dark spots and these white spots are the reflection of the top of uh, the water, and this is maybe the uh, bottom of a lake or ocean or something. Maybe these are like sea urchins or coral coming through. Um, this one was super fun, of course, um, because I used that airbrush and had a lot of fun with it. Um, it ended up really more messy and muddy than I, not really necessarily muddy, I guess, but definitely more messy than I'm used to or what I usually like, but ultimately the end game I really loved. So you guys tell me what you think. Um, please like if you like and please subscribe if you haven't already because I've got a lot more coming. Um, but definitely comment and let me know what you see in which way you like it better. Do you like the white on the bottom like this or the white on the top? And either way, what do you see? What, what comes to you when you look at it? So, all right, that's it for today. Oh, I forgot to bring you guys in close. I'll bring you in close to look at some of these effects. And I'm sorry, my focus always takes a little while. It's an automatic focus. You know what? I'm going to take it off of automatic. And it's annoying because it makes that sound all the time. So let me try to do this manually. really like that spot right in here. I'm literally standing on my bed because this is over my bed right now. Alright guys, that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video.